So today we are with uh, Melody, uh, Melody from uh, Angola. And uh, so how are you, Melo? Yeah, I'm alright. Yeah, Thank so you. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. Nice to see you. Now you are in Rich Mix in London. So tell me, how come you are in London? I, I came here to study six months. At, uh, London music school. I'm studying guitar, keyboards, and advanced sound engineering. So in September, August, I think I'm going to be finished. Okay. Then going back to Portugal. Going back for Portugal. Yeah. And where where you live in Portugal actually? I live in Lisbon, well, in the center. I have a little house. I can see the river. Oh, that's uh, that's is good. But we we spoke about Lisbon. But I I, I saw in your your bio you you did as well work with hip hop uh, people from Lisbon as well. Yeah, but in Lisbon, I was one of the hip hop pioneers there. I started. I began doing hip hop. I was thirteen. The first the hip hop compilation we recorded. I think I was like seventeen, eighteen. Um, it was called La Publica. It was the first hip hop compilation. And so after that, I just start, started gigging with my friends, with a band called The Family. And then I, I was part, at the same time, of an acid jazz band that started the acid jazz movement in Lisbon. It's cool uh, noise. There's a lot of stuff in, in, on the internet. We did some, the first record was produced by the guy from Big Cheese All Stars, mm -hmm. in the group. Um, it was Frank. We have a good cheese all stars, and the second from the guy was produced by the guy from Mo Horizons, mm -hmm. Ralph Joseph Meyer. And so well, I spent like 10 years with that band, and then I got out and started my solo career. Yeah. So t uh, tell me so something. You start at first in your year old. So, what what was the, the inspiration for you to start at first in so early? Is it at, at home? Is what bring you to the music well, industry? I didn't like, like schools. So okay. I spent all my time writing lyrics, hip hop lyrics, verses. Okay. So that was my beginning. Instead of studying, I was writing rap lyrics. But the, so was something who bring you from. Uh, Hip hop and writing uh, uh, music was well, a, a name you can uh, or inspired you. Oh, there's, a, there's lots of names. I think one of my favorite bands, yeah. even nowadays when I listen to hip hop, is EPMD. I think it's again EPMD, Boogie Down Productions, uh, Just Nice, um, of course, Public Kenny was my favorite, one of my favorite bands, you know, the most important band in my, my story. Back in the day, my, yeah. Yeah, my professional life because they had this crack pride and all that. And I think I got that from them, you know, just I saw some black guys doing that kind of stuff, you know, kind of wicked, wild stuff. Inspiration. I, I fell in love and I said, God, black guys yeah. doing that stuff. It's incredible, not African music. <laughs> yeah. So I just started making rap music. And then mixing rap music with my traditions from Portugal and Angola. Like to mix. Sometimes I mix that occasionally. Yeah. So tell me at the moment, um, you work? Are you working on an album or are you working on or something? Have you got something coming soon? You no. Know? You know, my last record has like six years. It was recorded six years ago. So after that, I've just been studying with scholarships. Uh, you know, almost two years in Barcelona, studying uh, music production and sound engineering. And um, the guy called Alex Brinken, private classes, and with him, went to the Sai Institute. S a E Institute. Uh, it's one of the most ancient uh, schools of sound engineering. He went to the first day. And, and right now here with another scholarship to study and it's a good way to pay your bills and yeah. to be making music without having to have this nine to five job. Oh yes, yes, yes. So and I get tired. Do, yeah, I only do music like twenty four hours. When I relax I'm just getting inspired by something. Yeah, it's the way to relax your brain. So tell me as well, uh, your your collaboration as well with El Samba. Speak about... It's Shadow One. El yeah. Samba is just a project that began with, I was talking to some friends from Buraka Son Sustain. Okay. The guys that made the Kuduro. Mm -hmm. My last record was recorded with my label and their label. I was trying to do a label. We got together mm -hmm. and, and made this 
Melody's second album, Shigit Saldanis. And not uh, No More Blues in English, Shigit Saldanis. And so, uh, well, what, what was I trying to say? What did you ask me? Yeah, about the, 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 your collaboration with El Samba. Ah, because El Samba is my, it's, in this in six years, the industry is just changing. Every year is changing so much. And all the musicians, we used to, to have good money for show. We could get like some kind of a minimum wage, only with one gig, and pay two gigs, and just study and could do, have a lot of life. All of a sudden it changed, so I just invented this character. Now Sombras is like some kind of anti-hero. Oh. He drinks too much, sometimes he's unpolite, sometimes very silly. This is my outer ego and I, I do everything that I feel. Okay. And everything is like, it has some kind of ex experimental touch. You know? I have some stuff that look like some kind of punk acid jazz stuff. Uh, some stuff that are completely electronical, like mixes with Fudu from Angola and, it, and, um, and, and minimal electronical stuff. You know? So it's, it's an outer wheel to do everything that I feel like. When I, when I play that, I always do different gigs. Sometimes with jazz musicians, with the, the jazz printed, the shadow printed. Sometimes I just play two guys in a controller, controlling mm. stuff, and shoes, and singing. Speak to us about uh, Kuduro, because it's been two times you speak about Kuduro. For people who don't know about Kuduro, people who will watch this, uh, this uh, interview, can you explain in few words uh, what is it, Kuduro? Well, it's, it's basically, um, it comes from a rhythm and a lola called the Kasukuta. <laughs> I think there's a lot of rhythms like that in Africa, but they only have different names. Angola is that kind of rhythm, you know. It's similar to some kind, some stuff that Benda does from yeah. upstairs. It's similar to some some, some of his stuff. Because um, it has this African vibe, this African touch. Uh, but Kudu is, is typically Angolan because it has a lot of uh, uh, influence, uh, influences from, um, from Angolan music. It, it has the Angolan feeling, you know, the way the Angolans feel the music in life. Yes. Like I love to compare it to styles like raga music, when it, it, it got big in, in, yes. uh, in Jamaica. It's, it's the same kind of stuff, electronically. Yes, yeah, because it's reggae mixed with electronic. And, and, and the reggae is, is there, and raga music, the reggae stuff is there. Yes. So Kuduro, you explain Kuduro, it like that. Yeah. It's, a, it's traditional a mix with electronic. Yeah, you can, when, it, when it is played, the musicians play it, you, do, you see the root of it. You know? But most of the guys, they play just electronically, very minimal, mm -hmm. because people don't have money, so they have to they have this energy. And it's always very fast. The dance is some kind of mix with tribal, and go on stuff in the break dance music, you know. It's quite new, it's quite fresh as well in, in London because a lot of people play uh, Kudu I, I, as the bubble. Because if you play there, everybody's dancing. And if you're drunk, you, just, <laughs> you look like Michael Jackson. You, <laughs> you lose the, uh, the, 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 all your pressure you got inside, you put it out. Tell me something as well. You, you did work as well uh, for a soundtrack for a movie. Speak to us about, about that. I was doing a movie with basically guitar stuff. But the movie, they just stopped doing the movie. They paid me. Okay. It stopped. <laughs> it's incredible. Really? Because they paid me. And the movie, I don't know really what happened. Because the director was impossible to not happen. But, uh, so what 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 what, 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 what was the about? Never got out. I think no. the director was not happy with the movie. Okay. So, so I didn't start uh, working on the songs. I had some a couple ideas. Mm -hmm. And they enjoyed the stuff with the guitar. Just and I have a lot of ideas like the kind of reggae trio. Mm -hmm. It was all about surf music. I learned surf. I learned to do surf because of that film. So they paid me. So. I don't know why it didn't... It's all good for you. 
it's all good for you. It would be, would be, be, would be better. I would love to finish, finish it. But the movie is not finished too, so no. Nobody knows what is what happened to the movie. Or what are you gonna happen? Leave it for the mystery. <laughs> <laughs> So t tell us as well, uh, uh, Melo. When you are in London, where what is what what is do you, where you find your inspiration in London? Well, nowadays, uh, in some jam sessions, it's uh, a lot of guys. But I, I don't play that much. I just study too much. I study a lot. I don't play now. They don't play that much. Uh, I used to do a lot of jam sessions and. There was a jam session I would get on stage. Right now I'm really comfortable and I just do my own things and have a couple ideas and, and transform it into music, into personal things. I just don't feel that comfortable. Just do things that I'm not that I don't feel as as personal. Okay. Jam session is it's good for me like an exercise. It's fun to but I, I just I prefer to study a lot. So everyone that I see just study what they're doing. So you you um, are you trying to bring another identity and your own a uh, color, like you study to bring your own color and your own vibe. Yeah, yeah, to develop these ideas. And well, uh, it's a good time to because after six six years without a, a, a new album. Well, it's hard to play live. <laughs> it's a lot of time. Tell us, uh, how, how long have you been away from Angola? Since a kid, a long time. It's very expensive to go to Angola to uh, even get birds. It's very expensive. So if it was like going to, to London, well, I would go yeah. there for the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> so, and you know, and right now we do. So many people from everywhere. And really, the business here is business. You know, you can bring uh, a different way of being in business that's more professional. If you go to Africa, to Portugal, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna be a better professional because I'm pushing myself to the limits here. And that's what I really like in Europe. You push yourself to the limits to be a professional. In Africa. It's you to enjoy life in a different way. You, know? you have more time for yourself and mm -hmm. to be with people. And, uh, and here's just a, well, I'm here to work a lot and have all of these uh, different experiences with people from everywhere and to develop myself. Yeah, the, the, the interactive as well, it brings you more inspiration and more color in your music. And different influences and all of that. So t tell us as well, Melo, uh, if some some uh, viewer want to get in contact with you and want to work with you after to see this interview, where they can find you, how they can uh, get in touch with you? Well, uh, to, to Facebook, it's, well, to Facebook or MySpace. And nowadays, everybody's on Facebook. But sometimes, if someone wants to do some 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 things, they can use it with you. Yeah. Yes, I have right now in a couple of days like 70 people trying to add me. So I have to get a fan page right now. I had a fan page and right now it's like 5,000 people. So it's, I have to, to, to clear you know, oh, yes. all the time and eliminate people to add other people. <laughs> I, that's quite funny. Because who uh. doesn't impress me, you just eliminate. When, when the the middle 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 of the year website when is? Well, I've tried. But, uh, I have one. Some some friends are working with one. Well, I never needed it. So uh, even even internet is something that well, sometimes it's, I want to stop uh, using Facebook and all of that. Because right now I think it's more it's more. Everyone has its life open on Facebook and all these channels. What what would happen if you, if you found a way of being more mysterious? There's no mystery right now. That's what I I don't like in these new times. Everybody's an artist. There's no mystery. 
put all your focus there, put all your yeah. life there. So, yeah. Is it, uh, yeah it, I, I didn't find out uh, a way of uh, doing things differently because, on the other hand, it's important to get your job, your work on the internet so people can can find an easy way to, to look at, at you and see what are you doing, who are you, your music, your art, you know. So, is 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 all part of you without take the the the, the 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 fly the plan and you can go everywhere in one second yeah, and people second. can know your your work as well. Yeah, all over the world, you know? uh, we can forget all those big corporations. You know, so you by yourself you can you can make it to the internet. Tell me as well. I'm interested as well because on, from Angola you speak Portuguese as well. Could you could you give a small message for some? The people from Angola who will see this video. Epa, turma, a mensagem é sempre simples e, e é só uma. É, é acreditar em ti próprio e para fazeres a tua cena. É acreditar em nós e fazermos aquilo que sentimos. Ah, viver a vida que amamos e amar a vida que vivemos. Thank you very much, Melo. Thank you for your interview. That's what for Nico Sign Connection with Melo at Rich Mix in London. And thank you very much. Thank you. Bye.